Hello internet folk and hello to the titlerhood. Um, doing a little video today uh, based on a, a question that I found in the Tiddly Wiki forums uh, about hiding the Tiddly Wiki sidebar upon startup. And I had provided a little bit of sample code there on how to do it, but I kind of started thinking it'd be fun to do a video about it and then actually show uh, how it's done. Uh, how it works and uh, going forward uh, I'm tempted to start calling um, these uh, types of videos diddlywiki trail mix videos because it's a little bit hard to talk about one particular feature in diddlywiki without showing by example uh, some other features along the way so today's video is going to be about uh, although it's about hiding the sidebar and startup we're going a little bit bigger and we're just going to talk about startup actions and some use cases for TiddlyWiki startup actions. The first one being, yes, hiding the start, uh, sidebar and startup. But also uh, another one I dreamed up here, which is a modal display of a Tiddler on startup. And then we'll be discussing a little bit of the internals of all that. But also, uh, as, as a side note, using advanced search in TiddlyWiki to explore and understand TiddlyWiki internals. I guess we could say that's a little bit of a, a quest for the not so documented. In this uh, video I'll be keeping our uh, sample TiddlyWiki on the left half of the screen and over on the right side we'll be showing documentation, relevant documentation uh, found on TiddlyWiki.com. Now before showing any tiddlers, let's show you uh, what I mean by these two different use cases for sidebar actions. I'm going to make uh, the font a little bit less uh, obscenely sized. And we're going to start this tiddly wiki so we can see what happens upon startup. Now as a user, the first thing that we notice that's different upon start starting this tiddly wiki is that we're present presented with a modal window. Now. The, the nice thing about presenting a modal window in startup is that we can do, well, here are some ideas. We can show a welcome message before actually getting into the TiddlyWiki. We can show what's new, you know, recent updates of, uh, of informa information inside our TiddlyWiki. So we updated tiddly Tiddlers, uh, what's new with you personally, whatever. And we can show reminders, uh, upcoming birthdays or upcoming events you know, that we want a little bit of heads up on. Uh, we could show items that are due, or overdue, or soon to be due. Uh, to be due. <laughs> and uh, we, we, we want to simply show to-dos. You know, if you're using your tiddlywiggy as a getting things done solution, or if you're doing some kind of task tracking inside your tiddlywiggy, it's an opportunity for you to see right here as soon as you start it up what's important. You may want to just show, you know, a picture, well, pictures and tiddlers. So you may want to show a picture of the day or a quote of the day or both for what it's worth. Yeah, you may want to uh, have the modal window set up with check boxes or other types of widgets uh, so that you can say right away that you intend on doing this type of thing with your TiddlyWiki today. So that way you check those boxes and all of a sudden TiddlyWiki shows up for a particular task that you want to do or a particular process that you need to do. Anyway, so here's uh, one use case for startup actions in TiddlyWiki. And by the way, if you want to read up about startup actions, go visit TiddlyWiki.com and take a look at the startup actions Tiddler, which explains all kinds of stuff. And the other startup action is sidebar hidden uh, up on startup of the TiddlyWiki. So let's go take a look at some code. We're going to take a look first at hiding the sidebar on startup. And the reason we're going to look at that is because although the first thing we see is the modal dialog, the actual first thing that happens in TiddlyWiki are startup actions that have to do with pre-rendering. So things that happen before showing anything on TiddlyWiki. And pre-rendering uh, tiddlers or, or actions are an opportunity to do things like 
setting variables or setting values in fields of tiddlers, that kind of stuff. And if we take a look at this one, before anything is rendered, we use the action set field widget to set the state sidebar tiddler, the text field, to no. And that's actually what hides the sidebar. And how do we know this? Well, uh, I'll explain that a little bit l later as part of uh, using advanced search to explore and understand TiddlyWiki internals. Now let's take a look uh, again at, at this thing. You know it says, says tags startup action. And you'll go read up uh, about that over here in TiddlyWiki.com in your own time. But any tiddler in your TiddlyWiki that's tag with startup action, these are things that are going to happen before TiddlyWiki sh displays anything on your in your browser. Now the other kind that, that of actions that happen are post rendering startup actions. So as TiddlyWiki is opening and before the user gets to click on anything inside that TiddlyWiki, uh, these are things that are going to happen after TiddlyWiki is rendered, displayed, but before you actually do anything with it. In this particular case, uh, it's a tiddler that's tagged startup actions post render. And we'll read about it here. This says do these things after displaying TiddlyWiki, but before letting the user do anything. In this particular case, we called an action send message widget, which sends the TM modal message to the tiddler, the startup modal window. And this is what brings up that tiddler as a modal window. Now, I probably should have called this tiddler something else to not be so confused, but you know, whatever. This is just a tiddler right here. And if we go take a look at startup modal window, this guy is just a regular tiddler. There's nothing special about this. This is any tiddler at all, right? And uh, I'm sorry got some junk in there that shouldn't be there. I had intended on doing some other things with this but it didn't work out so just a regular tiddler and it gets brought up by this guy. Now just for the heck of it let's uh, ignore the save let's just restart again just to see what happens reload. The first thing that happens is your startup action. I set that variable or that uh, tiddler, the sidebar tiddler, the, the state of it, to no, which is hide. That's the first thing that happens, but the first thing that we see is this modal window. Close it, no sidebar is gone, well, we can get it back, but it's gone. Hidden. And uh, well, that's it for startup actions. What I did want to talk about a little bit is 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 digging into the wiki to figure out how to um, to do our pre-rendering startup action right here. How do we go about finding out about this kind of stuff? And I was going to say it's not like it's documented. Well, if I would have looked a little bit more carefully, I would have found in the tiddler in tiddlywiki.com, the Startup Actions Tiddler, I would have found there an example that shows how to uh, uh, hide the sidebar if the width of uh, the browser window is less than some value. But I never noticed that. Instead I went uh, uh, the, um, the exploratory route and I used the uh, the advanced search window, which is a tiddler, which is really useful for all kinds of things. But I use this to try to figure out what's going on. We know that, you know, when we click the button over here, that it hides and it shows the sidebar. And with TiddlyWiki, whatever actions happen, when we press in a button and something happens, when we enter a value in a field, when we click on a checkbox, that gets saved somewhere in a tiddler, in a field of some kind, whether it be the text field or some other field. So knowing that, I decide to just kind of hazard a guess and do a little search for system tiddlers, search for sidebar. 
And by the way, when I search for anything, uh, if I think of it, I usually actually space out different parts of a word just to make sure I find something. And this is how I discovered state sidebar, was by searching here. Actually, I had used the search under the shadows tab at first. But uh, if you can't find something here, take a peek over at shadows. In this case, I did find it. So I, I took a look at it and I saw, okay, it says yes. So then I started playing with the sidebar and just seeing what happens. And that's when I noticed that, hey, look, it says yes when it's visible. It says no when it's not. And using that bit of information and reading the documentation about you know how action set field works right I decide that's where I'm going to set this tiddler's text to know anyway that was just uh, uh, it's a it's a really useful thing that you know you can find out uh, the internals of, of tiddly wiki by hazarding a guess for certain things to look for inside of uh, inside of system or shadow tiddlers. Anyway, that's it for the video for today. Thank you very much. I hope this was useful to you. I'll be uh, adding the tiddlers to this video uh, in, in a link in the description. Uh, you take care. Bye-bye.